Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to send all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakah, Kadash, Barak, Athon. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, Haru well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel. This is your brother, Izar, coming at you with another lesson from the GMS Miami camp. And today I want to talk about um, Esau, the wicked of the earth. Esau, the wicked of the earth. Now, I did one lesson and I brought out uh, several precepts that proved that Esau was the wicked of the earth. And I'm going to go over some of those same precepts, but I also have some more precepts uh, that um, there are some more precepts in the scriptures that I want to bring out also. OK, now we're going to start at uh, Job 9 and 24. OK, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not. Where and who is he? Okay. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay. Now, who is that wicked? The scriptures is talking about. It's talking about Esau. Okay. It's talking about Esau. All right. Now, when you go back to uh, Genesis. Okay, now when you go back to Genesis, I think it's the, let me see. Okay, when you go to Genesis uh, 27 and 40, it says, and by the sword, well, well, let's go, let's go to 39. Let's start at 38, Genesis 38, Genesis 27 and 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his, and Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword thou shalt live. Okay? So Esau obtained the fatness of the earth and the sword. Okay. Now, how did he attain the fatness of the earth? Through his sword, through his sword, and also by being wicked, by taking land from the uh, the so-called Native Americans, taking land from the so-called uh, South Americans. Okay. All right. That's how. Uh, Esau rode. That's how he rose today, actually. Okay? Look at America. Look at America. What is America trying to do? America is trying to spread their wicked ass democracy out. Okay? To other countries. All right? Now, let's go back to uh, Job 9 and 14. Um, I mean, it's like Job, Job 9 and 4. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay. And who is the, and like the scripture said in um scripture said in uh Genesis um 27 and 39 it says and Isaac and Isaac his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Okay? And then here in Job 9 and 24 it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Those two scriptures match up. Esau is wicked. Okay. All right. Isaac said, answered and said unto him, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. So all the good places on this planet Esau has. Okay. You see him everywhere. You see him in the islands. You see him. Um, in the Keys, you see him in the good places in California. Um, you see Esau having a nice places on the beach. Down here in South Florida, a lot of uh, Jews uh, live on South Beach. And it was thick back in the day, you know. Um, I've heard stories of how Jewish people ran South Beach. You know, well, not really ran. Well, actually, yeah, they did. They um, lived on South Beach like in, I think it was like 19... 60s or 50s or somewhere around there. I'm not sure. But 
uh, South Beach in, in Florida. Oh, yeah, the Jews had that. Yeah, and you still have some of them living there today. Look at today. You still have uh, Amulet living in some of the nice places in some of the neighborhoods. I drive for a living, and I pick up Amulek on a daily basis. Amulek has his nice neighborhoods. Amulek has his synagogues. And, you know, it's a, it, his, his places are in some of the best places in, in Florida, you know? All right? So Esau was given... The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, okay? And then the precept for that is, is, uh, is uh, Genesis, 30, Genesis 27 and 39. And Isaac, his, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, okay? And of the dew of, and of the do of heaven from above okay so he was given the fatness of the earth okay and then when you go down to verse 40 it says by the sword thou shalt live okay that's how Esau rose by his sword his sword of wickedness okay let me read verse 40 and by the sword shall thou live and shall serve thy brother and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off his neck okay and not to get too much into verse 40 of, of genesis in chapter 27 but i just wanted to prove that esau that i want to bring out a precept um from uh you know from job 9 and 24 and how it matches up with um, Genesis uh, 27, starting at verse 39. Okay? All right? How it correlates. Okay? Um, okay, let's go to... Let me see here. All right, let's go to Malachi. Okay. Let's go to the book of Malachi. Malachi 1. Okay, Malachi 1, chapter 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. Okay, but we will return and build desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord have, hath indignation forever okay now let's, let's look up some words all right now when you go into that word impoverished strong's h 7567 rashash rashash okay to beat down shatter to beat down okay now the edomites uh were enslaved okay they were beat down that's why it says we are impoverished Okay, and then it goes down to, um, and those who were doing the uh, dark ages, they were enslaved. Okay, uh, let's go down. But we will return and build desolate places, thus saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Okay, now why do they call? Why do they call why are they called the border of wickedness? Because everywhere Esau goes, you know, he brings his wickedness. Okay, look at America. America is the perfect, perfect example. You see the the uh um where the rest of these nations get protest ideas from, you know, you see what's going on in uh China right now with protesting. They get all that uh, that idea from protesting from America. Okay. And China not really trying to have that shit. You know, America's trying to push this democracy on, on, on a lot of countries, some Arab countries, you know. And America is, 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 is basically, 
uh, pushing that wicked vibe on these other countries, you know, supporting these other countries to uh, support a uh, support uh, L- LGBT, you know, um, feminism and all that shit. No, nah, man, it's not supposed to be like that. All right, it's not supposed to be like that. Okay, and the and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation. Okay, let's let's look at that word indignation. To denounce, express indignation. Okay, to be indulgent. All right. Um, let me go down to. Uh, okay. To speak angrily. Okay. So basically, Yahweh has a righteous anger against these Edomites. You know, it's a righteous anger. Okay, the Most High has a righteous anger forever. Okay, let's read it again. Whereas Edom saith, "We we are impoverished because they were in slavery. We will build. We will return and build desolate places." Okay, but we will return and build desolate places. That's talking about uh, the Renaissance period. Okay, they're gonna return and you know uh, uh, build desolate places. You know they're gonna rule. Okay, thus saith the Lord of hosts. When you go into that word host, that means army. They shall build, but I will throw down. So the Most High is going to destroy their kingdom. Those desolate places that they build. Okay, the Most High is going to destroy it. Perfect example, America. The Most High is going to use the chariots and the nukes to destroy America. Okay, it's a perfect example. The board and um, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Who is the bo- Okay. The border of wickedness. Everywhere Esau goes, man, he, he's bringing that wickedness, bringing that wicked ass shit. You know, Salaki for cussing. He's bringing that wickedness vibe. Okay. The people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. And the Most High has a righteous hatred for wickedness, has a righteous hatred for Esau. Okay. All right, now let's go to um, Psalms. Let me see, Psalms. No, Proverbs 16. Let me go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs. Proverbs 16. And starting at verse 4. Okay. The Lord, thy power, hath made all things for himself. Okay. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Okay. So the Most High created Esau. Okay. He created good and he created, created evil. He created Jacob. He created Esau. Okay. All right. The Lord hath made all things for himself. So he made, he created Esau. Okay. And he created Jacob. Okay. So Esau was not a mistake. The Most High intentionally created Esau. And the Most High intentionally hates Esau. Okay. All right. Um, let me see. Oh, you know what? I missed the point. I I should have started at verse three. Salakia. Uh, hold on. Proverbs sixteen. And um. Actually, yeah, yeah. I I started at the right verse. I started at the right verse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I started at the right verse. Salakia, brothers. Yeah. But yeah, the Most High. Uh, purposely created good and purposely created evil. Okay, so if the Most High purposely created good, purposely created evil, the Most High purposely created Esau. I mean, it makes sense. Okay. All right. Now I got a precept for Proverbs sixteen and four, which is um, Isaiah. Isaiah. Q. 
Okay. Isaiah. As <gasps> oh, it's so like your brothers. Forty-five. Okay. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form light, create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So the, the, the Most High has control of all things. He created uh, light. He created darkness. He created peace and he created evil. Okay. And he created wickedness. Okay. So the, Mo the Most High... The Most High has that power to do that, man. You know, it's messed. I mean, I give all praises to the Most High. I'm not a eat just, just so, just to be created so He can hate you. That the Most High can hate you. Wow. Nah. -uh. I'm. I'm just. I give all praises to the Most High on that one. Um. Okay. Let's go to Psalms 58. Okay. And this is, I'm going to close out with Psalms 58 and also another precept. All right. Okay, Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Okay, now when you go to verse 4. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf otter that stoppeth her ear. Okay. All right. So the wicked, the most I created the wicked, you know, and as soon as they are born, they're, they, they just start being wicked. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. So as soon as they're born, they're 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 wicked, <laughs> you know. All right. As soon as they're born, they're wicked. Okay. Um. Let me bring out another precept here. Um. Now it says their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are okay. Now what does that sound like? Their poison. It's like the poison of a serpent. Okay. Now, and also, when you go back up to uh, verse 3 here in Psalms 58, it says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Okay. Now, keep this in mind speaking lies, and their poison is like the poison of a serpent. So, speaking lies, serpent. Speaking lies, serpent. What situation in scriptures, uh, where in scriptures do you use, um, uh, what sounds from, what, what does, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Um, well, you know, let's just go to it. I'm just going to go to it. I'm not going to ask a question. Remember, serpent and speaking lies. Okay? Serpent and speaking lies. And, and you brothers probably already know, well, already know where I'm going with this, but we're going we're gonna to go there anyway. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. Genesis chapter 3, 1 through 6. Now the serpent, okay. Now what did it say in, um, in uh, Psalms 58 and 4? The poison is like the poison of a serpent. Okay, now in Genesis 3 and 1, it says, Now the serpent was more subtle than the beast, than any beast, like you, of the field, which the Lord hath, with the Lord thy power had made. And he said unto the woman, So this is the serpent speaking to the woman, Ye hath, ye hath, ye hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. 
But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. Now, is that not a lie? Okay. Now, when you go to uh, go back to Psalms 58 and 3, it says the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they uh, be born. Speaking lies. Proof of that. Genesis 3 and 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not die. OK. But when you go further in the scriptures, uh, further back in the Genesis, it says that Yahweh did say, um, let me see if I can find it here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can find it. OK, uh, chapter Genesis two and chapter Genesis chapter two, verse 17. OK, and the Lord. OK, let's start at 16. And the Lord commanded the man, saying of every tree of the garden, thou mayest eat freely. OK. But but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it for in the day that that thou eatest therefore of thou shalt surely die. So Yahweh said it plain and simple in Genesis 2 and 17 that if they do eat the fruit, they're going to die. But here comes the serpent in Genesis 3 and 4 saying to Eve that ye shall not surely die. That's the serpent. That's Esau. Okay. That's Esau. All right. Um, I need to bring out one more scripture and I should have done this from the get go and I didn't. Well, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. This this was the last, this is it. This is the correct order. But I'm going to bring out one more scripture. Hebrews. OK, Hebrews. Um, Hebrews 12. OK, All right. Hebrews 12. <laughs> It's like you and um, 16. Least there be any fornicator, profane persons, as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Okay, so Esau sold his birthright, man. What what kind of 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 of, of stupidity is that? Why would you sell your birthright? You know, he wasn't even thinking. He wasn't even thinking about his birthright. He despised his birthright. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's get that. He despised his birthright. Esau despised his birthright. Okay, King James Version. All right, and that's in Genesis 25. All right, 25. And let's see, starting at verse 20. Okay, 29. Okay, Genesis 25 and 29. And Jacob sold, oh no, and Jacob sawed pottage. And Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. What profit shall this birthright do me? So Esau was speaking carnally, man. You know, he wanted instead of having the the uh, the blessings. I mean, um, instead of having his birthright, he uh, he despised it for for a morsel of meat. Okay, and Jacob said, 
swear to me this day, and I mean, swear to me this day, and swear unto him. I mean, so like it. And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Wow. <laughs> Woo, man. So Esau gave up his his birthright, man, for a morsel of meat. You know, that's messed up. But hey, hey, the most high created good, the most high created evil. Hey, the most high uh uh is the creator of all things, man. He's the father of spirits. You know. Well, Akim, I hope this uh lesson was edifying. Shalom and all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wakaka Dash, Barakatam. Shalom.